What's going on, guys, uh, Raider fans and NFL fans? Uh, this is not a Raider video, but stay stay put. Listen to something I got I to gotta talk about. So, it just came over the wire from Bleacher Report, Score Mobile, CBS Sports, that Brandon Cooks has been traded to the Texans for a... No, the Texans get Brandon Cooks and a fourth rounder for a second round pick. So... Bill O'Brien looks like a genius here. You trade away the best receiver in the league, you sign Randall Cobb, and you trade for Brandon Cooks. No, the camera is not glitchy. I was just staring at the screen and like, what the fuck? How can the Texans' ownership be okay with this? I understand bringing in Brandon Cooks. I do. Because he's really good on deep passes. And Deshaun Watson throws a pretty good deep ball. But you can't do it all the time. Especially when you have, on one side, you're going to have Brandon Cooks running long. On the other side, if he stays healthy, you've got Will Fuller running long. And then you've got poor Randall Cobb who can't stay healthy and he's going to get all the short passes. Doesn't look good for the Texans right now in the trades that they've made. They've given up the best receiver in the game right now. Some people might argue, but I think he's one of the best in the game right now. Top three for sure. They get nothing back for him. Uh, no, they got Dust uh, David Johnson, who hasn't been healthy since I got clean from drugs. And they've got now injury-prone, injury-prone, injury-prone. Okay? David Johnson's injury prone. Will Fuller's injury prone. I know all you fantasy people know that because I've drafted him two years in a row. It just never works. And then Randall Cobb. You bring in a guy that could barely stay healthy, uh, you know, with the Packers. With the Cowboys, I I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. But I guarantee you he was out a couple games. And you bring in Brandon Cooks, who maybe isn't, like, that injury prone. But still, I always think of him being injured. Ever since he was traded from the Saints, he's been injured, okay? Uh, honestly and truly, I don't know what Bill O'Brien is doing. You know, obviously, he's a professional, and he knows what he's doing, but I don't get it. I don't understand why Houston's front office is okay with this. I know that Bill O'Brien has the confidence of the front office. Only reason I know that is because they're allowed him to make these trades, if they weren't confident in him, he wouldn't be making these trades. DeAndre Hopkins would still be a Texan. So they've got all the confidence in the world. And let me tell you something. I know. I know. He's won games in the playoffs. He's made to the playoffs more than he hasn't. But still, Bill, bro, come on. Come on, man. As a Raiders fan, I'm nervous because that shows another team in the draft that might use their first-round pick on a wide receiver. Might even trade up in front of the Raiders to draft a wide receiver. The wide receiver group is so deep this year that you can replace a guy like DeAndre Hopkins somewhat. Not to his ability, but you can get at least 75% of them back. You know, if they end up trading up and getting Judy or Lamb or Ruggs or Higgins... Or even um, a kid from Colorado. There, there's so many out there that, you know, the Texans could get and they could have hit a home run. But as a Raiders fan, this this scares me because all these wide receivers in this draft, everyone looks like they need one. And this was our year to get that number one receiver, and it's not looking good. Or get the one that we wanted, and it's not looking good. But And on the other side, the Rams... Jeez, you're dismantling your team. I know Todd Gurley was, you know, whatever. But still, last year you had Brandon Cooks and Todd Gurley. Didn't play much, but you still had him. Now you have that, yeah. You got Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, that kid they drafted a couple years ago, rookie, was third-year player. Just, you know what, the Texans and the Rams are just trending downward. And it sucks because, you know what, Deshaun Watson and Jared Goff, Deshaun Watson is a lot better than Jared Goff, but Jared Goff has the intangibles to lead a team to a Super Bowl because we've seen it. So, 
I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm smart. Probably I'm not. That's why I'll never be an executive in the NFL. But I just think that you get rid of DeAndre Hopkins and you replace him with Brandon Cooks and Randall Cobb and David Johnson. I think those three guys together still don't match how good DeAndre Hopkins is. So, I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I think we've made 2,000 subscriptions. So, uh, looks like we got to do a little giveaway. We're going to give away three or four gift cards or something else but we got to think of the contest first so stay inside stay healthy subscribe to the channel like the channel thank you for watching and for all those raider fans out there that are watching as always let's go raiders